Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Little short video, hopefully. Three ways to copy uh, interactive fill tool, gradient tool onto another item that doesn't necessarily have to be that shape. Uh, I've always used the eyedropper tool, which is attribute eyedropper, and take a sample and put it in there. It all depends on what you get used to. You can click here and right down here, you have a fountain fill. You can just grab it and put it there. Or you can click on this. Ah. Right click on it and just move it anywhere close. Then when you let go, it's going to go copy fill here. You don't even have to be in the circle. And it's the same, you know, it could be with, you know, let's say you make a particular color and let's take this blue holding down the control button and let's add a little yellow. Let's add a little green. Let's add a little light blue. So you've got a whole new color. You can just move that color to there. Or you could do what I just did earlier by right clicking and getting it close. And then when you let go, it says copy fill here. And I'm almost guaranteed you can use the, even though it's not an attribute, let's try this. Yep, it's a color, which is, I guess, is an attribute. So at least three ways to do it besides going up to the menu bar and maybe copying it. But then if you copied it, you'd have to put it exactly in that spot. Anyway, I hope that was a little bit of information and thank you for watching.